How you love yourself is how you teach others to love you. What's up, beauty babes? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome, welcome. I am Jasmine, aka J. Michelle Beauty. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how to dye your hair ginger. So if you are interested in this video, just keep on watching. Okay, you guys, so today you're gonna need some latex gloves. You're gonna need some dyeing brushes and you're gonna need your hair color. And today to achieve this ginger color, we're going to be using six bottles of the Adore French Cognac. You can use four bottles if you want to, but I like to be extra and I like to make sure I have enough. So I got six. And we're going to be dyeing four bundles today. And you're also going to need developer. And developer is optional for this too, unless you're using permanent hair dye, but this is just semi-permanent. So if you want to use the developer, you can. If not, you don't have to, but I'm going to be using a 30 volume developer. Okay, you guys, so we're gonna start off by coloring the closure. As you can see, this hair has already been bleached. This was a black hair color and I had to bleach it to get it this color. I bleached it twice. Um, I'm not gonna include that in this video, but if you guys want a more detailed bleaching and coloring video, I will link my other video down below that I did previously. But yeah, we're gonna start by coloring the closure. So I started, I already mixed the colors up together. I mixed all six colors together, all six bottles of the color, and we're basically gonna start at the bottom and work our way to the top. So it's okay for you to saturate the bottom, but when you get to the top, you gotta be a little bit more careful because you don't wanna cover your lace. Now, this is the part y'all want to be careful on. Y'all want to take this part and just color it like that. But when you get to the top part, you want to use more of your comb. So what you can do is you can comb through the color and then when you get to like the top lace part, you use your comb and color that. So you guys see that I started at the bottom and when you get to this top part close to the lace, you're gonna take your comb and use your comb to color the top part so you don't get that color on the lace. And I'm basically going to do this throughout the whole Closure. It makes me look at you too often. Oh, baby, you can give us something. Baby, I can run all the time. Baby, I'm talking crazy. I need you right in my space. But I need it, baby, I'm late. But I still can check in with you. I know that I need my friends. But I wouldn't want to leave. You know why? Okay, you guys, so I finished the first side of the closure. And as you guys saw me doing with my comb and throughout the video, you saw me going through and making sure I got every spot. That's what you need to do because you don't want your color to be patchy. And a lot of times when you're combing through the color, the color will be on the comb. So that's what you put on your knots so your knots don't get colored. You don't want your knots to be the color of your hair. You want your knots to be clear so it can blend with your skin. And basically I'm gonna do this exact same process on the other side. And also you just wanna make sure, you know, you're thorough with the color. Like you see this part, well, it's a little part that I missed back here in the closure, so uh, yeah, like that part. So you just make sure you go over that. I can't tell you what it is, but you got me going crazy. That you do is so amazing. How long can you go, baby? At last, to my body so amazing. 
Basically, what I was saying at the beginning is with your bundles, you don't have to be all neat and stuff like that with your when you're coloring your bundles. You just need to color it and make sure that the color is thorough on there. So you can slap it on however you want to. And I was saying I was going to use a new method by dipping the bundle in there and spreading the color around. So yeah, I'm just going to continue that same method for the rest of my bundles. Okay, you guys, so I apologize for the bad lighting, but this is how the hair ended up turning out after it has been washed, conditioned, and dried. I let the hair air dry. As you can see, the hair is still intact, still in good form, and I am going to make this into a wig. I can't tell you what it is. Got me going crazy, 